So this time, let's take a look at how you can use the number line for addition. So here we have a new question, 432 plus 260. And last time we started with the hundreds place, so maybe this time we'll start somewhere else. There's a two here in our hundreds place, a six here in our tens place, and we have a zero again in our ones place. And since last time I started with the hundreds place, I think this time I'll start from the other direction. So there's a zero in the ones place, so I don't need to add anything there. But I'm gonna add six tens, because I have six in my tens place. So first I'm just gonna jump one, two, three, four, five, six moves over, and each of these would be 10. I'm not gonna take the time to write in the, the plus 10 for each one of those, but we know that each of those moves is gonna get us 10 places. So we could use that and skip count from where we started at 432. 432, 442, 452, 462, 472, 482, and 492. Well, now we're part of their way there with 492. That takes care of the 60 in our tens place. Now I need to still add 200 more. Come down here and add 100. And this time I will write it. I'm adding 100. That would get us to 592. And then I have to add one more 100 again. So if I come over here, adding one more 100 from my hundreds place, 592 plus another 100 would get me 692. And so now you have your answer. 432 plus 260 equals 692. So that's how you can use the number line to do that.